What's up everyone, Doyler here and it is time for some more content on the free to play account. As you can see, Sealand and Aspen Dungeon are both open, so we're going to try for another Death 1 push and maybe see if we can pay attention and clear Sealand 18 this time. So, going to do Aspen first, run Horus Full Warrior, Fearless Armor, SS1 Block Attack Stone with 11112, so no Purify. Makes the Petrify Waves a little scarier, but keeps him a little more um, survivable and sustained. 9 DPs, so let's buy stuff and then we'll... Alright, so the record is Hell 44. We're so close to Death, or at least Hell 50, if not Death 1. Getting that um, Smash Point would help a lot, especially with DPs and just the amount of waves we have to RNG against. Um, Quad Faith Blade, super easy. Just wanted to show it off before we start skipping. We will end up with no energy, but moving right along. 20, 20, and 16 potions, so a little short on crit chance, but that's all right. So this is one of the scary waves. So Karma will reduce his block, which hurts. That said, I think we'll be all right. As long as he can get our blocks in and break out of CC. Yep. So it's a little scarier, but it is definitely doable. Um, I think Vitality actually helps more here than the Purify anyway. Dual Heart Watcher, we're fine. We've got plenty of milk, which is nice. Ah, uh, can we take a solo vessel? We've got... Oh yeah, I wanted to show off the Guild Tech as well. So, currently up to 19 out of 30 Anti-Mage and 30 out of 30 Anti-Priest. So let's heal up to full and see if we can still take Solo Vesa at 390. We're going to need good timing on our actives after round 15 to take this. I think we're fine at 390. There we go. Nice and easy. And we get a full heal uh, energy. So let's go. And Unbending didn't proc, so that's good. Solo Gru, we are just fine here. But we've already got full energy. I think we'll be fine. I don't think we need a DP here. I think Vitality really makes the difference for especially waves like this. All right, we're in wave round 15, so we're going to start doing that extra, gain an extra attack, doing a lot more damage. Yep, we one-shot the Vessel with an active. Now it's just a matter of DPSing the Gru down. There it is. Nice and easy. And there's crit potion number 18. All right, health 30. Still haven't used a DP. Solo DA. We're doing just fine. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to hit health 50 this time. Um, I'd love, obviously, death 1, but doing it in chunks is fine for now. Death 1 means we get the uh, the level cap bump, though, which would help for our seal land pushes as well. Crypt Potion number 19 and Hell 35. We'll just use an Angel Potion here. Moving right along. Alright, so Crypt Potion number 20, right before Hell 40. Uh, we've got a shot at at least our personal record. We still haven't used a single DP. Alright, Hell 44, Dual Siggy. We're going to pop a DP for the heal and to start with energy. I think that'll help and make this a little safer. Um, that said, with Vitality, Siggy isn't as scary. Um, although without Purify, that Armor Break can stack up pretty quick. Alright, whew. We made it. Got a little touch and go there, but Hell 45... Triple Sleepless and Mimwave, we can take this one. Alright, Hell 50 for the updated Smash Point. Solo Mirage should be a breeze. Still have 8 DPs left too, so we've got a, a decent shot at Death 1, depending on what waves we face. Solo Mirage should be no issue for us. Yep, so Hell 50, we got another Smash Point at least. Let's see if we can keep going. Hell 60, we have not had to use a lot of potions. Let's watch the Healer Wave at Hell 60 just to make sure we are still smoking them. Um, we should be with this build and the max anti-priest, but I just want to make sure. So they are sustaining fairly well, but being able to... Getting the three blocks in from facing so many enemies makes it so much easier. We should be able to take out the bell rain in a turn or two. Maybe this active. We've got a lot of stacks of attack and crit increase. 
may go into extra rounds before we start killing stuff. We'll have to see how this active says. Alright, Ormus is down. Just got Vesa and Michelle left. Just Michelle getting heals from Bellarine. We've got this one. Moving right along. Double Siggy. We'll pop that DP again. Just to be safe. It was scary last time. I'm real worried now. Without Purify. The, uh, the armor break and the burn just stacks up so quick. Yep, there it is. Alright, so 430 dual Siggies are a problem for us. That said, we did get Hell 61. So let's throw a Purify back on and do some Seal Land. So we're going to run the same Horus, same setup, just Purify. We're not bringing this 6-star Ticks. He's for the future. But we are going to bring Full Mage Fearless Ticks. 2-2 two, two split energy ticks. 2-2 two, two split energy ticks. 1-3 uh, split almost energy ticks. And what is that first one? Oh, we're gonna actually going to take this off of him. We're going to use the unleveled runes power on this ticks. We will level up eventually to have another DR artifact. And I'll just give the, um, the 6 star ticks this kiss of ghost. He can have that. We're not going to use him, but I use him in PvP and stuff. Um, I have so many six copies, I was able to start on him and not mess up Seal Land. So, let's do our ten attempts on Seal Land 18. Um, can we run without the Death Sworn now? Can all five ticks to survive? If so, that would be huge. If not, we will go back to the Death Sworn for that last slot. That is the... Okay, so that's perfect, because these have... He has an unleveled um, DR artifact, he still gets an active. So, I think this is a better setup than the Death Sworn we were running. Now, can... <laughs> Horus, get work done. He is still living in round four. That's good. We need these wraiths to start stacking up and killing stuff now. All right, we proc in round five. That's okay. We've got one priest down. Another phoenix buff. Hopefully we can kill the ball like right. Yeah. All right, so the five ticks are all getting off actives, which is good now. Because these middle two are energy, so they'll get round one actives. Then they'll die. These two ticks will live, or these three ticks will live. And then they will um, fire off round two actives. Alright, we proc at the very end of round five. That's alright. One priest down. The other one should die to that wraith this turn. So can we take out the warriors and the boss? We need this warrior to go down good. Ah, oh, we can't. We need to survive the warrior and the boss active. If we could get one extra attack from a Ticks, that would be awesome, but it's very unlikely. I'd love to upgrade a stone to SS3, but I just don't have the resources to be safe about upgrading at the moment. Alright, round 5 proc, that's okay. Now we need to kill stuff. One warrior down. Can we kill the boss before it's active? Yes, we do! That's good. Ah! Alright, I don't know if we've got CLN 18 quite yet, but we can run all five ticks now, which is huge. Um, we have max HP runes on the Phoenix, but not max, max attack at all. So there's still plenty of room for growth for a minimal Phoenix clear. Um, I definitely think it's doable with the five baby ticks and this setup. Can we kill the boss before it's active? No. Alright, let's smash through a few, see if we get lucky. I am paying attention this time. Nope, so still stuck on Seal Land 18 so far. Let's smash 17. Still made some progress on the free-to-play account, and things are looking great so far. But be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to help me get to 3,000 subscribers soon. And be sure to enter that CD key giveaway. Link in the description. But I'll catch you guys tomorrow.